Manual will take on Central to begin their season tomorrow night in our HS Game Time Game of the Week for the Crimsons and their entire community. It has been an uncomfortable summer as the team looks to gain back some normalcy. It is just a normal practice here at Manual as the Crimsons get ready for the upcoming season. But in mid-July, Manual's head coach at the time, Donnie Stoner, was temporarily removed from his position. Stoner has since been indicted by a grand jury on 20 charges related to sex crimes. Those crimes are in connection to allegations of sexual abuse involving a young girl who was 17 at the time of the abuse. Read, read, log, log. Stepping in is Josh Gillespie, who's now trying to lead a program through a time that's not been easy. No, I mean, you know, change is constant of life. Um, and if you're going to be a resilient individual, you have to adjust to it. And they've adjusted well. Gillespie is an alum of Manuel, played college football at Western Kentucky, and has been an assistant with the Crimsons for the last five years. But did he ever want to be a head coach? I do now. It's a team that's adjusted to the change and moving forward full steam ahead. I, I really think it's more of a, a team effort. You know, I, I know that I, I am the head coach, but I think we have a great coaching staff, and I think collectively we are leading these kids. Hey, let's go, lock in! Returning for Manuel in the backfield, is Zeke Washburn, who ran for almost 1,400 yards last year, which always helps. Absolutely, but we also know that a lot of other teams are going to be aware of that as well. Also back, quarterback Eli Creech, who's returned after breaking his collarbone, should help balance Manuel's offense. The Crimsons feel like they have it all. They're player driven, um, they're hungry, uh, they got good attitude and atmosphere. I, I feel really good about this team. And perhaps that's enough to be one of the best teams in the state. Now, due to the sensitive nature surrounding Donnie Stoner's case, current coaches and players are not allowed to talk about the situation.